treasures where we're always looking for the meow factor. Wow. We found some of it yesterday, as a matter of fact. We rented a big U-Haul. This time we've actually rented the biggest U-Haul I've rented, and it's a 24-footer. 26, uh, actually. 26-footer, wow. Mm -hmm. Bigger than what I thought. 26-footer. Uh, we are driving to uh, Roswell. The three units in Roswell that we picked up over at the Extra Space. And um, it is a rainy, rainy, dreary day. Nasty. Nasty. So, it's going to take us probably a little bit longer <coughs> to do anything because of the, uh, the weather being what it is and stuff. But we are super excited about getting over here, getting the stuff in the truck, and then we um, will be unloading the truck tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yep. Uh, we... We did list a lot of stuff yesterday that we found in that one tub that had all of the dinosaurs in it. And I'm pretty sure we listed close to about 600 maybe $650 worth of, um, of um, merchandise in one tub that we had no idea what was in it. I mean, there was no writing on it that said you know, toy dinosaurs. Yep. We anything. listed dinosaurs, Pokemon cards, and oddly Dis enough, Disney towels. Disney beach towels, which are something that are is collectible. And we actually knew that was collectible. That's something we look for at estate sales. That's true. That'll be your bolo for today. Yeah. If you're out at estate sales and yard sales, vintage Disney beach towels. That is something people love to buy. And the brand is called Franco. Yeah, Franco is a very good brand to look for. But, you know, pretty much any Disney beach towel from the 90s or earlier, if the uh, printing on it is bright and colorful, go ahead and pick it up. It's going to sell on eBay. Yeah, it's at least 30 bucks. Yep. So, I mean, you usually get those for like a dollar. Yard yes. Bills and and stuff, so. uh, really good, good stuff. So, uh, we just want to do a quick little intro for today, and then we are going to probably do a little bit more. Yeah, we'll do some little um, bursts of video when we're taking breaks because yeah, when we find some cool stuff too. Right, you know? but so, anyhow, good. we will see you later. Yes, we will. Bye. As I've been unpacking one of our units here, I we saw these yesterday, but I didn't look at them really good. Um, I looked these up on eBay, and these two pieces here are going to come very close to paying for the entire unit, assuming they work. Um, they're very clean, and they look to be in good condition. So crossing my fingers, we have a good find right here. Um, feel free to look these up on eBay yourself. I will uh, try to insert a screenshot showing a couple of sold comps on them. But they're uh, Marantz. It is the Model 2020 um, tuner and the Model 1060 console amplifier. But apparently... Highly sought after by vintage audiophiles. All right, we are back. I don't know if you can tell, but it is dark. And that's why there have not been much footage today. I did take that little clip of the um, audio equipment. We did also come across another really old, um, like a vintage PV, um, what are the things called, amplifier? Yes. Yeah, that yeah. my looking at it, it looks like one that is kind of pretty highly desired. So we're going to have to test that out. If that works, we'll be putting that probably on the marketplace, maybe on eBay for local pickup because that's just too big to try to ship and I think somebody would like to have that as, yeah, assuming it works. some really cool furniture, uh, really heavy furniture. My back is killing me right <laughs> now. Um, the two, there's two workbenches that I, I'll be able to sell those for $100 a piece um, and a big uh, uh, air compressor, 27 gallon air compressor that is absolutely wonderful. Tracy looked it up and it's like $450 new. I'll sell it for 200 bucks. I might even try it for three because it looks good. Mm -hmm. It works really good. That'd even be even better, you know? And we got the, the um, pressure washer. That's probably going to be about 75 bucks. And a ton of cool boxes that are going to be fun to unbox. Yes. Um, there's one that says dad's old baseball cards. I'm going to unbox that on camera because that's going to be one of those um, hit or mix, miss boxes. It really just depends on how old Dad is. Yeah. If Dad and was... How old and are. how old his cards are. If Dad's 45 years old and his cards are from the 80s and 90s, that's going to be a big womp womp. If Dad is... is good. If Dad is an older man, they could be awesome. By the, by the river, it looks like. 
Um, people were caught making out without their masks on. <laughs> uh, you can't see this in here because, once again, it's dark, but I'm sitting next to a nice, uh, Nespresso machine, which is something I've always kind of secretly wanted but never put it on my Christmas list because I think they're overpriced. And um, so I'm excited to clean that up and I'm going to test it out. And if it works, I'm going to keep it. Oh, but we had all the lights on. And there's also a bag of jewelry here that I pulled out of a box that I just happened to see sitting right on top. And I was going to um, go through that on camera on the way home, but since it's dark, I obviously can't do that. So maybe I will do that on camera tomorrow during a little break when we're unpacking this giant see, truck. what we need is guys. We need guys. So if you're a guy... Or a girl. Or a girl. We're not, we're not we're not sexist, not and at all. We want to make some money. When we say we want guys, we just want um help. <laughs> we need we need help. Pay help. And yeah, yeah. <coughs> we're definitely gonna pay and stuff, but um, we, 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 we say guys because we always see on storage wars they always say we're gonna get the guys to help us unload or load oh, or price or box we'll or yeah, the guys are gonna help them. So we yeah. always we always joke around that we need the guys we to help us. We need guys. <laughs> this is a 26-foot truck that is pretty much full, and it took us all day to load it, and it's going to take us all day to unload it. Uh, I mean, I was going to say, um, unloading, while it's the same work, in a way it's easier because we're at our unit, so we get to back it right up. We don't have to walk through a giant facility. Yeah, back and forth get into an elevator right that was one of the thing two of our units were on the third floor and going to an elevator automatically adds time mm -hmm. uh, to any yes like, any unit that you're gonna get and stuff but our best unit was on the fourth floor yes it was so of a... don't be afraid of those just yeah. be aware that it's gonna take you a little bit of time and, and a lot more walking sucks because you can't like put it on a cart. You can't put it on a dolly. Things like headboards and footboards and you know right. things like that. They just don't work on any of that stuff. You got to carry it. Mattresses. Oh, the bane of my existence. Mattresses. But, but we've got three mattresses in here. But um, tomorrow we will be at our facility working, <laughs> and we can also then you know we can go grab some food if we get hungry. Grab some drinks if we're thirsty. You know, take breaks because we have chairs you know it's it's a lot a lot more pleasant to work over there it is going to take us a little bit more time though because we have um limited amount of space <laughs> and this is 26 feet of merchandise basically <coughs> and i don't have 26 feet worth of space so <laughs> that's gonna um, be fun we're gonna be maneuvering gonna be, yeah it, maneuvering it's, some stuff around i'm gonna be probably moving stuff before i move any stuff Right. In, um, only because I can't just uh, pile stuff on top of other stuff. So. But it's going to be fun. Yes. It's going to be exciting. We are excited about these units. As much as I'm complaining and my back hurts so bad right now, we haven't eaten and I'm starving. Yeah, we're you know, we got right pool now. tonight. Yep, we're and heading. Shout out to our Thursday night pool team. Yes, we're and running we'll, late, we'll, we'll but we will be there. We're heading that way now we're gonna go home clean up because we smell bad and then we're gonna go over to Hiram station and grab us a bite to eat and probably just cheer them on because I don't think we would probably be shooting good pool tonight oh, God, so God. assuming they're all there we will just cheer on our team tonight mm -hmm. yes so, so well, make sure that you like share subscribe share and with your friends tell your friends to subscribe yeah um, and we really tune in tomorrow and, and we will definitely unbox some stuff or unbag some stuff tomorrow. I know we didn't do any of that today, and I apologize. It we was saw, just... I can tell you right now, we saw a lot of cool stuff. And um, you will see it all eventually. Yeah, yeah we, we did see a lot of cool stuff. We didn't go through anything. We didn't process anything. Uh, but we did see a lot of cool stuff. A lot of stuff was marked um, M&A's Toys, mm -hmm. which can always be a good thing, or it could be a bad thing. It just depends on, you know, one, how well did they take care of their toys, and two, how old they were. How old they are. And three, where did they get them from? Right. You know, they get them from Dollar Tree and Dollar General and all that. And that's going back to Goodwill, you know. Which we're anticipating a couple of Goodwill runs here. But really cool stuff. Did you say you found a shirt? Uh, Pink Floyd. Yeah, we found a Pink Floyd shirt. 
which I mean, <laughs> I am the biggest Pink Floyd fan that there is. I love mm-hmm. Pink Floyd. Um, and you also saw, didn't you see, you, you found a Ralph Lauren polo bra? Oh, yeah. Shirt. I opened a sh- uh, box of it. It was like, you know, Alex's winter clothes or something. And right on top was a brand new Ralph Lauren shirt with the tag still on. So yeah. that's love always fun. That. Those are so easy to sell. Yep. You know, easy to ship. You know, the only thing you got to worry about is people who don't know how to read descriptions properly and think that they're in a small when they buy they really them. should be in a large yeah. <laughs> and that happens but anyhow we're gonna wrap this up for now and we will see you tomorrow yeah peace out bye